In this video, I'm going to use an example of enmeshment, an example of how um, going into a familial narcissistic system, which is acting covertly, can actually be of a benefit to you, and how you can bring out value from being devalued and from discard. So the uh, context of the situation is uh, I've just spent some time homeless. Um, homeless because I'm, I'm not towing the line of the family. Um, I'm, not, I'm not giving in and I'm being my own individual. Uh, following what I uh, believe to be right and so um, I get integrated back into the family and in going into that situation I'm praying I'm knowing this isn't right and I'm praying to God please bless this and so during this um, I'm convincing myself look this is a good thing your brother has just uh, stopped and broken up with this woman and he needs some help and so you're gonna be there to be his help and support and so during this, a conversation comes up of like, where does this abuse come from? Why do we keep finding ourselves with these um, relationships which are immoral and end up in a lot of pain and anguish and, and confusion? And so in that, dis in that discussion, I mentioned, well, you know, narcissistic, um, self-worshipping type of um, people, uh, once you get together with them, it results in these uh, bad abusive uh, outcomes and just that idea in itself um, just totally freaking hit against the resonant nothing and it just just died it was just mortified um, not through ideas not through but just through uh, neglect right emotional um, neglect and devaluing so the devaluing process started there and so I'm a bit confused but I'm like oh maybe I'll mention it later or something like that but no there's no mentioning it later it just it never really gets mentioned ever again and uh, what happens is that later on, overtly, there's a discard. And the discard is like, look, if you won't tow this line, if you won't um, believe these certain beliefs about the things that you've done, then you have to leave. So they've warmed you up and they've gotten you comfortable over the last month because you're coming from homelessness, you're in a vulnerable situation, and they offer you, you know, hugs and kisses. And then um, when you actually are you, though, when you actually bring yourself to the table, it's just okay well, like what are you doing can you can you let's not do that and then if you just keep bringing yourself to the table it's like right okay you have to tell this line or you have to leave and it's very very effective and covert because you know it's you've gotten used to this life you've just cycled out of any life that you have had because you have spent a month with them and then you're stuck with this ultimatum where it's like compromise on who you are believe in the super self and join our system or you have to leave and great the value that comes from this is you leave and you're now you again you have escaped the enmeshment and you've become you again um it's obviously a bit confusing and it can be a bit um harsh but it's a valuable process because coming out of it those objective timestamps don't leave if you stayed in the system you would it would come up every now and again and you'd be confused and maybe you'd go to the psychiatrist and you'd take pills and then you'd maybe you'd drink a lot to forget and then you know but you'd, you'd stay in that world but when you actually just allow yourself to leave you go into the real home which is with god the father which is through the logical tra chains that bring you to all truth and he takes care of you like he takes care of the birds and the foxes and the bees and and, and dresses dresses them like like he dresses the flowers and so then you go back into that and you're able to take that time that you spent there and you're able to integrate it into a, a theory of a theory of a theory of everything as much as that was a, a sad event that passed and this can happen with every single interaction that you have with narcissists and evil people and bad people going into it even if you know that it's wrong you trust in god you understand that he's taking you on this journey so that you can learn and you get out of it with loads and loads of value um, even though the enemy has done every single thing they can to curse you and to devalue you and to and to destroy you as a child of God as a child of um, being as your identify as your identity as a child of God and a creation of God and your knowledge of him and what's right and good as you are in that path no weapon formed against you shall prosper no every curse given to you is a blessing i tell you the the greatest thing that ever happened to me was uh my ex-partner who i wanted to marry who i stopped fornicating with because i was like look i want to honor you i want to i want to you know be with my wife and so let's get married um she sent me to jail and in that jail is where i got on my knees and i found jesus 
And so every time I look at one of the worst things that have ever happened to me, um, they can always just, you know, be absolutely edifying and give you so much value. So I just want to give that uh, motivation and word of encouragement and uh, give you an example of my life where I was confronted with this uh, covert familial super self and I wasn't able to exactly understand what was happening in those moments but now that I'm out of it I am able to and through all these memories of my childhood I am now able to understand what the hell is going on and then pass on that mimetic and uh, if God wills it genetic code so that that never passes on again so that we have uh, bulwarks and defenses against that and this is what this uh, YouTube mission is about really is to uh, share truth and love and experiences and so that we all may learn and grow so yeah peace and let me know if you have confronted this kind of super self and um, been confused at the time and then realized what it is bye bye